Question number 9. Port L is 120 kilometers on a bearing of south 30 degrees west from Port K. A ship left K at 10.00 hours and sailed at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour along the bearing of south 60 degrees east. Using scale drawing, determine the bearing of the ship from Port L at 14.00 hours. Now to solve this question, uh, we should begin by doing a sketch. Let's just do a sketch of this position before we go to the accurate drawing. So port L, the first statement, port L is um, 120 kilometers on a bearing of south 30 degrees west. This is compass bearing south 30 degrees west. So let us just... Um, draw this the first statement port l is 120 kilometers on a bearing of south 30 degrees west from port k so i'll do a sketch here so you have to draw the true north so that uh, being the true north this is just a sketch so this is uh this point here is uh, k port k is uh, here the center here now port l is on 20 kilometers on a bearing of south 30 degrees west south 30 degrees west south 30 degrees west that one is here south 30 degrees west this is how we measure it remember this is south so 30 degrees west you're going to measure it this way south 30 degrees west so that is uh, that that is what represents south 30 degrees west from port k so this is port k is here so south 30 degrees west is this uh, angle you're going to measure it from south uh, towards the west so let's assume that l is here and this uh, is 120 kilometers then from them a ship left port k at 10 hours and sailed at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour along uh, the bearing of south 30 degree, 60 degrees east so ship left port k uh, of course you can see where port k is so now you're supposed to measure south 60 degrees east from there then when we come to the distance we shall calculate that south 60 degrees east south 60 degrees east uh, we are going to measure it like this uh, so south 60 degrees east you're going to measure it like this from south towards the east that is a uh, 60 degrees that is uh, what you mean by south a uh, 60 degrees east now what you don't have eh? and uh, it is held the speed of um, mm -hmm. okay so we're supposed to get that distance so how do we get that distance now to get that distance we okay, determine the bearing of the ship from port l okay so we need to get this uh, distance here we don't have this distance and to get that distance uh, we're going to use time and speed so remember how we use that so from 10 uh, zero zero hours to 14 so we need to get the time so from 10 so from 10 zero zero hours to 14 zero zero hours this is uh, four hours that is four hours and uh, we're given the speed the speed is uh, 40 kilometers per hour so speed is equals to 40 kilometers per hour so we can use this to to get that distance and uh, this is how we're going to get this distance is given by speed times time and uh, having the speed is 40 uh, having the speed is 40 kilometers per hour multiply by the time which is uh, four hours you notice that this will be 100 and uh, 
160 kilometers so this distance here is 160 kilometers so the direction of the ship the ship should be somewhere here now this is uh, where it is so this distance from um, from this uh, port k to where now the ship is that is uh, 160 that is what you have calculated using the time here and the speed so now we need to use these remember we can we can join these we can join these places we need now to have this diagram drawn to scale this is just a sketch to help you to draw now we need to use a scale uh, since we cannot use a, a scale that will represent uh, 120 kilometers in centimeters and so i'm going to use um one centimeter i'll use uh, one centimeter one centimeter to represent 20 kilometers you can still use um, uh, 40 kilometers as long as you, they, you have enough space I'm, I'm just using this one because i have good space to draw and i want it to be visible so meaning for 120 kilometers so for 120 kilometers i will just divide this one by 20 here i'll have to measure six centimeters then for 160 i'll have to measure eight centimeters because i'm using this scale one centimeter represent 20 kilometers so let me go now to the actual drawing so begin by drawing the true north so i will draw the true north here and when you're drawing these it's only that uh, mine is uh, 90 degrees ensure that when you're drawing these uh, true north uh, this angle should be 90 degrees mine is already 90 and um, this uh, should be the center here this uh, is port k so we measure 30 degrees 30 degrees so take your uh, uh, protractor so this is how you measure 30 degrees 30 degrees uh, should be here mm, it should be here right so this is uh, 30 30 degrees the next one that you should um, draw is a uh, 60 degrees 60 degrees so again take your uh, protractor sure you're very careful when you're marking it Make sure that it passes through that point to be sure that you can see that is a 60 you can confirm you can see that is a 60 degrees that is uh, 60 you can see and then um, on the other side as well 30 you can confirm that indeed uh, the road is 30 here as you can see it is 30 you can see that is 30 so now we're supposed to measure six centimeters and uh, the other side eight centimeters So I'll use my pair of compass to do this. So to ensure that is uh, six. Yes, that is six. So mark six there. 
then on the other side we should have 8 8 that is 8 like that so here we have um, 6 centimeters which is uh, 120 kilometers and here we have uh, 8 centimeters which is 160 kilometers and after doing that we can join now this is where we have uh, L and this is where we have the ship in the two places using uh, where the ship is and point L. Now let's answer the question. Using scale drawing to determine the bearing of the ship from port L. The bearing of the ship from point L at 14.00 hours. So this is the ship and this is the point. So from point L. So you need to come to point L and draw a true node. You need to be very careful when you're drawing the true node here. Yes, I want to ensure this is 90 degrees. So this is the true node. So let me confirm it is 90 degrees. As you can see, this is uh, 90 degrees. You can see here, this is I've ensured that this angle here is 90 degrees. So, after drawing the true north uh, at that point, uh, the next thing you're going to do is to now uh, measure the angle, the bearing. Remember, we measure the bearing from the north in a clockwise direction from north clockwise, giving the bearing of the ship from point l so after drawing the true north at l you need to measure this angle here this is the required angle that is the angle that you require we measure the bearing from the true north in a clockwise direction so uh, let me place it again then it from zero yeah it is okay that way now from this point zero you can read you could go all the way to this is uh, place it properly this is the the angle and this is at 80 81 82 mine is 82 82 degrees so from here 80 81 82 so that is 82 so it is 82 degrees so the bearing of the ship from L is 0 82 0 82 degrees you're supposed to give it in now uh, you give true bearing uh, in three figures so 0 82 degrees so that is how you're supposed to solve that question